Um, but now we will move on into the afternoon. It's going to be more pleasant for us the rest of today. I want to show you some really interesting video. We're not talking about cold enough temperatures and snow, but some places are showing you the first snowfall this season in Chicago. Frigid temperatures matched a record low, dropping to 18 degrees before dawn this morning. A very cold scene there. And in northern Michigan, the first big snowfall led to lots of wrecks on the roads. A winter storm watch has been issued for parts of Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. So, again, the winter weather for some is already a reality. For us, maybe not that drastic, but we are talking about certainly some cool temperatures this morning. You did not want to leave the house without a coat. And now, as we move on into midday, still a little bit on the chilly side. Temperatures are still hanging on to mid to upper 50s. Arlington, 55 degrees, 57 as we check in for Keller. And as you can see, some of that sunshine trying to poke out from Tarrant County after some really heavy clouds, even the heavy fog around across parts of North Texas this morning. Temperature wise, after the past couple of really cool days, we're finally starting to warm back up. Of course, the sun does a lot for us in that department. We're about nine degrees up in some cases, nine degrees warmer than this time yesterday. That's what we're checking in from Dallas County. You can see the divide, still some heavy clouds lingering back off to the west. We will keep more clouds across our western half today and a lot more clearing off to the east where temperatures are starting to pop up to 60 degrees, Terrell and Athens at 60 degrees. We'll keep that cloud mixture as we move on through the afternoon. Notice what happens tonight and into the day tomorrow. We'll be watching a frontal system slowly push in from the west. It will give us a cloudy setup the first half of Saturday, although still dry and actually still pretty mild. Temperatures are going to be able to warm up thanks to a south wind. By Sunday, isolated rain chances, they're going to be better off to the east, not a widespread rain. In fact, many locations will stay dry, but the heavy clouds a good bet for at least that second half of our weekend. Look at the temperatures. Here we go. Keeping this fall feel, nothing extreme. It's just a nice, mild pattern. Temperatures near 70 degrees the next several days, and today we'll kick it off with a high of around 66. That extended forecast featuring occasional low rain chances. We'll see the first of those coming up in the end of the weekend. Guys.